I thought I'd take a minute to show what's involved and the way I approach uh, fabbing up a new intake manifold for the Extreme Express. This is my little bench. You can see this is the R&D shop. Retards and dumb shits. Yeah, well, I uh, got a pan of ice, a little Harbor Freight one, I'm making a couple of plates. Uh, this is the CT reed block. It come with it didn't seem to, the stock manifold didn't work for me. So I am making new plates, base plate, reed plate. This is the reed plate. That's ready to go. Base plate's ready. I'm building the box section out of some box pieces to box it up. And uh, these are some of the tools of choice. I've been porting for many years. Got to have transfer punches to get your holes accurate. Proper measuring equipment. Dykem bluing. Scribe. Set of files. Some bits. I don't need a lot of bits on this thing. It's pretty straightforward. And this is my special Makita die grinder. I like. I prefer electric. Uh, came with a switch in it for like 10,000 RPM, but about 25 years ago, when I built this, I adapted a little black injector variable speed drill switch to it, so I could have variable speed. I like that. I got a little Dremel, variable speed Dremel. Got to have variable speed. You can't just have it zinging 10,000 RPM. Expect to have any control when it bounces around. So that's where I'm at with this. Uh, cut the plates with my hypotherm plasma cutter. Got a little Hobart 140. Do a little welding with gas. Extreme and of course you have to have a belt sander and safety equipment. Gloves, water, nice face mask, the best, full face. And uh, got to have a good belt sander. I've had this belt sander for many years. I've done thousand hours on that thing little delta and of course got my cases where I'm fitting and you got to have an assortment of grinders you got your wire wheel your sanding disc and a grinding wheel I have three because they're so damn cheap it's not worth changing them so you just have one for each wheel on there and also if you uh, want to do any cutting of steel I've got a bandsaw. It's a 14 inch with a 6 inch extension so I can cut tree trunks. I do woodworking as well. As you can see I spin vases and things. The junk bench, so many little parts. And a standing uh, drill press. Gotta have a drill press otherwise you can't drill accurately. And couple of tricks on drill press get your holes centered is to have one of these nice little centering drills otherwise the drill seems to wander around good center punching double stick tape carpet tape comes real handy when you're transferring holes from one piece to another put a couple pieces of tape transfer punches center punch center drill and there you go you don't have any problem having to egg out holes so uh, all this has come over time. Like I said, I've been doing this a long time. So this is my R&D shop. Goodbye.